Oh, fuck him. Oh, well. So you've got your recorders uh, set them up? Oh, yeah. On the table? I should turn it on. Can you give me some batteries at this time? Yeah, I hope this thing works. We don't and blades. Nothing like seeing teeth on the ice, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think of this weather? It's not cold enough. There you are. Yeah. I thought you guys were going to have some real weather for us, man. Yeah. <coughs> I guess we're too early. It's a little bit warm. Yeah, it's so cold. <laughs> so I'll get a tan later on. <laughs> are you sick? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You all sick? Oh, yeah. Come <laughs> on over here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm fine. Do you like to contract a disease, mm. young man? Yeah, that's it. I'm killing off. <laughs> Word. So start. <laughs> that was one of my questions. Go, man. How come you guys don't have any punk bands on movie? Like, you usually, you usually like, pick people. Did you pick Superjack? Or, are they touring with you? Did you pick them yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. rock and roll bands, you know? Yeah, I don't know about them, you you know, we've we've toured with a lot of punk rock bands. Yeah. We just wanted to give more, a little more of a variety this time instead of hammering out the same sort of genre throughout the whole thing. It gets a little boring. Yeah. yeah. Plus, we've toured with most of the really good punk rock bands. <laughs> who uh, who else are you touring with? De Degeneration. Uh, uh, they're not punk. I don't know what it is. <laughs> 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 After that, it's just. Whoever, we want, whoever wants to tour with us, whoever we want to tour us, we'll figure it out then. I'm glad we have that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to establish the punk rock rules for everybody. <laughs> mohawk. <laughs> you need a mohawk to be a punk. You need to be ugly as fuck. <laughs> You need a lot of weird things sticking through your body. Yeah. You need, of course, the leather jacket. Oh wait, no, fake leather. There yeah, that would be the PC. P R one O one. In case you didn't know, the fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> You guys destroyed a lot of stuff at Tower Records. What's up with that? What happened with that? Why are they blaming us for that? I know. It sounds to me like it was 4,000 kids who did it. There's some other kids or something. Is that what happened? <laughs> yep. Something like that. You don't hold a, you don't hold a, a punk show with thousands of kids in it at a record store. Unless you're a genius. <laughs> Is it a pain in the ass doing things like this? Like just waking up and coming downstairs and having cameras going out? Well, I can honestly say it. I've had two and a half hours of sleep, and I'm sick. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I wish, oh, we wish you could see. We should like have like a sing along going. What yeah. song? I don't know. Something in French, so we can be like. Shut up. What's a, what's a dirty French song? French. French. I'm all tired. What do you guys think of Canada as a whole, what you've seen? So what do you think of Regina as a whole? <laughs> 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 Lord, 
love Canada. I mean, we've been touring here probably longer than anywhere. Oh, really. Canada. I mean, and I mean, here's a good referendum here's, now. Here's a good example. Like, Geek State Breath got pulled off the radio because it was offending people. In the, it was offending people who stay home too much in uh, in the United States, and yet somehow here it was voted number one video ever. You know, it's a tooth extraction video. So you gotta love that. What do you think about Montreal as a whole? It's not a whole man. Quit calling your thing. The place rocks. All right. If I hear one more fucking. Or, uh, this. I'm gonna walk over there. I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> Why are you only doing two Canadian days? You know, was that the record company's decision to? No, it was the government. They wouldn't let us stay longer. Yeah. They're afraid. Yeah, I have, you know, the, at the board they stuck their finger up my ass. Like, <laughs> Damn, you only got the finger. I got a <coughs> fist. <laughs> I'm not playing a joke. Like I put stuff up my butt when I cross the border, but not drugs. Yeah. It really psychs them out. Like nine volt batteries. And shit, you know? Like I know you these guys. Stick them, they get zapped. You know <laughs> those little buzzers that you shake your head. Joy buzzers. Yeah. Uh, what would you name me if you were a porn star? Michael <laughs> Christie. John Joe San Diego. <laughs> Frank Spirock. You can actually find some of my films in the, you know, in the dirtier section of your porn. <laughs> do you know the? Do you know how you you get this, the porn name? Um, I think your middle name, middle name and street name is that it? Yeah. Oh, it's a middle name in the street. Yeah. Well, in case I'd be Ryan Christie. Yeah. Uh, we go. We go. I think in the United States they go by first name and street name. Middle. Yeah, a geeky middle name or not? How come the smaller man? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you guys playing the smaller venues this time? Aside from Arena Rock, like last time. It's fun. We you saw us there last time. We want to switch it up. <laughs> we never really got a chance to headline these size venues, you know. Yeah. And we wanted to be like in the city, in town, where people could take a bus to see the show and shit, and you know, just be in town where shit's happening. We haven't toured in a long time, so it's nice to sort of sort of approach it, like starting from scratch again, and know, like, you know. It's, you just go get a little crazy if all of a sudden you sit, stick yourself out in front of like 10,000 people or something. Yeah. It's also cool because we still have all the same amount of speakers, right? <laughs> and we just jam shitloads of speakers in little clubs and just ruin everyone's hearing. It's cool. And do you feel that uh, the sound critics are less out of you uh, with uh, Vimura than they were with Amazonia? With their what? They were with Amazonia? <laughs> But this album, they were really hard on you when they created the album. This one, uh, they, they have done a lot of good critics, a lot of... Well, critics don't know what the fuck they're talking about either. So, I mean, I don't give a shit if they don't like us or if they do like us. And if they do like us, they should like us. We give them a job. You know, most of the people, the people that buy our records are like a lot of people that range from like the age of like 15 to 25. And those are the people that really matter. I mean, the critic is just like some asshole that thinks he knows something about punk rock. And really, he's just like a Fiona Apple fan or something, you know. So that doesn't have any, uh, you know, uh, you didn't feel any pressure when you, when, you know. Their opinion means nothing to me. We bullshit. I mean, the kids that write in letters saying, I almost committed suicide and your, your song helped me out. That's what matters, you know. We, we are our own worst critics. Why should we give a fuck what anyone else thinks? And when it comes down to it, we're very selfish. We write music for ourselves. <coughs> and that's why you are meeting uh, your fans, like what we're doing now? You know? Just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I don't know. I don't know anybody here. <laughs> well, uh, I guess they are your fans. <coughs> not, not always, when you do impress. I mean, you know. You know. When we, most of the time when we meet our fans, it's not such a structured conversation, you know. <laughs> what, do you guys think the Sex Pistols are sellouts? I don't care anything about them. I know. I, give a fun. Fun. I, mean, I know they have one good record. <laughs> Is that like a really powerful and redeeming feeling if you got a letter from somebody saying that they were going to commit suicide? Do you feel like, I, it's, is it scary? It's a little scary, yeah. But I mean, it's also, you know, I don't know. I mean, we just write like our stupid little songs and, you know, it's like we're not trying to do anything, you know, like, yeah, we're not trying you know, to save the bet, that's I don't, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, you know, it's just like, you okay, know, I wouldn't like to, but we're just in a band, you know. I don't know what the fuck is going on over there, so I don't think I have a place in life trying to save any place. I don't know what the fuck about. Whose earbook did you use inside the cover of the album? 
Uh, your mom. <laughs> 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 what about all your younger fans? Yeah. Like eight, eight, like you have these fans that walk come to the shows for like eight and nine. What's your like your take on that? Dude? I think they're starting in the right direction. God have mercy on their souls, <laughs> little fighters. Yeah. <coughs> I, you know what? I, when they show up at the show, I think, man, you guys are are lucky and you're you're smart to hound your parents to go. I had a chance to go to the US Festival when I was a little kid to see you too, and my mom wouldn't let me go because she thought I was too young. Which, you know, personally speaking, I thought was bullshit, but what can you do? You know, what was I, 11? Something like that. No. Those, the smaller you are, the more invincible you think you are, too. Yeah. These guys are just freaks. It's great. Do you guys... Go for it. What would you buy with a $50 gift certificate at a sex shop? Oh. In a sex shop? I'd buy a libido. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy pictures of his mom. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get at a six shop? Videotapes and dildos? And dildos. We get dildos. You know, I'd buy 50 bucks worth of condoms. What's that? Get yeah, my money. Ah, oh. yeah, he's all ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 condoms are expensive, man. Oh. Aren't they? Oh. Go, 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 go. Condoms are totally. You, I don't know if you know this. Do you use them? Yeah. <laughs> you know? They're like, uh, yeah, you, you get like you get the more than once. It's like, there's <laughs> crazy condoms with like, I buy like French condoms, split head, <laughs> French Canadian condoms with maple leaves on the top. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys miss like the old, like the lookout days when it was just a smaller, more clubby thing and stuff like that? Like, no, I think you gotta move on, you know, no matter what. I don't think you get to look in the past and go, I wish I was there, you know. High like school football are the best years of your life, kids. <laughs> They'll never be this good again. It's just downhill from here. I heard you guys say on, on Much Music that you didn't like anything mainstream. Is that you still believe that you don't like anything? That's... I think most of it sucks, yeah. What's, uh, what, what kind of things do you like other than things like... We like the, like yeah like Mr T experience, uh, Groovy Ghoulies, uh, Generation, P Generation is really good. Um, they're really bad. The Kill. The old records too. It's a good stuff. How long is your uh, show time? I think like an hour and fifteen or twenty minutes. We started playing a little bit like we were playing too fast before. Like we were playing the same amount of songs. But before, like, uh, but we were playing so fast on the Insomniac tour that we uh, we couldn't get it past 50 minutes. <coughs> it's true. Like, we were, we we're just going. We go. All right, come on, let's do more. One song. Next song. Next song. Next song. It was like <laughs> no space between songs. Nothing. Okay. Last time you guys were here, there was no spitting on stage. In fact, the guys at the front they said there better not be any spitting, or else they're going to kick our asses. No. That's probably your security guards. <laughs> <laughs> Did they tell you anything, or was it just like? They're probably the security guys that probably don't want to get covered in flame. Yeah. I mean, I don't particularly like being spit on, to tell you the truth, you know. And yeah, you spit on me, I'll probably have you taken out of the front row. But, but uh, well, I mean, it depends on how many times you spit on me, you know. But I don't spit into the crowd and shit. I think it's kind of rude to tell you the truth. You know? Does it annoy you that guys, that people throw, like, tons of shit on stage? Shoes. Not really, you know. I, I feel like you know. Hey, I feel like if, if they feel like you know, we're so good, they have to give us their shoes and shit. You know, hey, that's great. You already bought a ticket. Now you're gonna give me your shoes, right? Away. You're gonna walk home like. Yeah, I'll you guys, man. Here. That's all I got. <laughs> well, that's throw your shoes, man. You're gonna end up walking home in the snow. Yeah. You're gonna end up walking on stumps for the rest of your life when they cut you. Feet off, dude. It's freezing off. You're gonna get gangrene. Yep. You're gonna travel yep. up your leg. You might even lose your penis. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, uh, the split on the show? I um, mean, between albums, is there a lot more of uh, the new record on, on this tour? It's a mixture. It's a good mixture, yeah, a mixture of everything. Yeah. What do you guys think about things like straight edge, vegetarianism, and PC and all that crap? I mean, like people enforcing <laughs> yeah. that into music, like, and if you're not like that, then you suck and stuff like that. What do you guys you can't think sell about you that? Walmart. <laughs> keep keep your politics out of my music. Yeah, <laughs> politics are fucking boring. I'm quoting Ben Weasel. It's like it, yeah, you really think that some kid's gonna wanna like 
on the weekend spend his like five, six bucks to go to a show and get yelled at, man, fuck that. He's got his parents for that. He's got his teacher. <laughs> yeah. He's got. I mean, everyone's, you know, if you've got your own personal beliefs, that's great, you know. I, I, had that, I had that problem with Sony Music, you know, early East Coast hardcore in, in, the, in the 80s, you know, I really liked. I really liked a lot of the music, but I couldn't stand it. in the middle of the show. They'd stop and just make you feel like a fucking dickhead, you know? <laughs> it's like, you know, great. I came to your show. I, I paid five bucks, you know? I think if you're not really dealt about, about issues like yeah. that, then it's fine, you know? Yeah, but it just maybe it just kind of turns into fascism, really. You know, I'm a vegetarian, but if you eat a steak in front of me, I'm not going to yell at you. Who's take back about Everyone and anyone. <laughs> um... <laughs> Kind of about a couple people, just personal people I know that people really know about. Do they know who they are? Um, they might have a good idea. Uh, is it true that Platypus is about Fat Mike? <laughs> and I also heard that you're his golfing partner? No, golfing. no, his golfing partner. No, no. I, I wouldn't golf. doubt it that he does golf. Oh, well, he golfs. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, golf is, golf sucks. Any, any amount of lawn that big without a dog on it is a crime. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they should get all the golf courses and like expand the zoos. Fuck caddies, man. <laughs> They'll get burned on around it. Go get my ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how old will you be when you die and what's going to kill you? I'm going to be 147 years old. and uh, I'm going to be 25 yeah. and Mike's amp is going to kill me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> pop his head like a melon dropping yeah. 12 stories up. I'm gonna have a gruesome accident on stage. It's gonna be cool. I'm gonna be dead. <laughs> How come the lyrics for Platypus or uh, Laugh Right In? They're not in the, uh, in the cover, in the uh, letter notes. We had your mom. We had uh, law problems because of the. Um, the the bridge in it. Yes. The the verbal lashing yeah. that goes down and yes. last right in doesn't have any. No root there. No root. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, we had some law law. This is something you guys want to keep doing for the rest of your life? Just keep playing music or do you ever want to quit and I don't want to look that far ahead, man. I'm still trying to wake up. Quitters <laughs> never win, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for you, what is the best to uh, compose, record, or tour? What's that? What do you prefer to do, uh, compose, uh, record the album, or tour? All of it. Oh. Yeah. I think it's like cycles to complete, complete you, know? you know? I understand you have decided to do uh, smaller shows. Uh, why? <clears throat> is it easier to play in front of a smaller uh, crowd? It's just a bit more intimate. We like bumping into each other on stage. Yeah. And like, <laughs> like Billy said before, you know, it's... It's just like uh, we haven't toured in a while, so it's a good. It's kind of good for us to just get out there and start over again, really. You know, yeah. Play in the middle of town. But you have to play more shows. And it's cool like because shows. when you see people, you see people's face. Like the other night, like this person all night kept doing this to me. <laughs> <laughs> Through the entire set. That's cool. And I it was like the funny, and, I, and it was like, even I was like, oh man, it's God. You know, people aren't really, you know, rocking out as much as I want. And I'll send, look over, and he's like. <laughs> they were like making his face, and it's just like, you know, it's like stuff like that, which is sort of funny and make eye contact with people. Are you going to take somebody on stage again? Because I've read a couple of reviews where you bring them up, you hand them the guitar, and you've uh, We've been let doing them play stuff. Song. We've been doing stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, if they're lucky, sometimes we uh, drag them around by their ankles so they hit their head, and then they, <laughs> it's just a matter of the luck of the draw, how we're feeling. Today, I think that there might be a. Uh, Wow. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I think that you guys would be like an enduring band, like something that like no matter what you do, you guys will always have your fans. So what would you tell like kids who are starting out and have like quit school? Yeah. I'm on my way there. Um, <laughs> quit school. Please. I think you're yeah. fuck off. <laughs> you know what? If, if, if you're starting a band, just put out. <coughs> start with the seven inch. Oh, you know, a lot of a lot of kids like think that they have to save up all their money and, and put out a, a CD first. Just start with a seven inch, man. If you sell enough of them, you can press it to CD anytime. You know. Don't That's worry so much about your equipment as much as your songs too. The vice pretty much <laughs> comes from you know morons anyway. So. And don't listen to people's advice. Yeah. What's the best show you ever went to? Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, probably the uh, we're playing
replacements from the best shows? Operation Ivy, Van Halen, 1984. <laughs> So, how did you guys like uh, your appearance on King of the Hill? I thought we were great. I thought so too. <laughs> it was just on two nights ago here. I am. What? Who? How, who did we think? King of the Hill. What about yeah. it? You guys were. You guys. Oh, what did we think of it? Yeah. How did you like that? Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Um. We. Uh. It was funny. Man. Yeah. yeah. Was it was it appropriate? Are you guys a fan of the show? Or? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, like the way it makes fun of Little America, Little Everywhere, really. Gonna allow everyone to Nimrod. A lot of truth in that, uh, you know, being stupid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. How Mike is, can do pretty good. How's your elbow after surgery? Oh, Mike. Huh? Asking you a question. What's that? How's the elbow after surgery? Oh, <coughs> it's doing really good. Yeah, they cut it open and like a like a, a hacky sack. They just dumped out all the beads, the broken bone pieces, and sewed it back up. So there's a rubber chicken in there too. <laughs> and turning's not too hard on it. No, it's my elbow's doing great. Yeah, lots of practice. <laughs> <laughs> I work out a lot. <laughs> How did you guys come to share the bill with Super Drag? Uh, I like their record, so we asked them that they wanted to come out. And they said it? Hell yeah. They said no, <laughs> and we made them anyway. <laughs> yeah, their bass player has cool hair. Big mm. <laughs> <laughs> Trey, um, what drummers influence you, and how many times have they had sex with my mother? <laughs> uh, Keith Moon, and he won't do your mom. <laughs> um, Anymore. I like, uh, I don't know. Me. <laughs> Me. No, I don't know. I just, I like a lot of drummers, but, you know, I don't really get influenced by drummers too much. If you guys could have any band get together, like a band that's broken up, but that you guys miss, just to see them play one more time, who would that be? Yeah, could they be dead? <laughs> I guess they can be dead. Uh, Probably Jane's Addiction. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, they are back together again. Oh, they are dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. they, just look, they just look dead. <laughs> um, uh, fluid Mac. <laughs> I'd probably want the Sex Pistols to get back together. I think that would be huge. <laughs> That's never going to happen. Nah. Um. <coughs> Whisker Do? Yeah, it could be a good show. Replacements. Are there any bands around today that you wish were dead? Yeah. Totally <laughs> radio. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily wish death. Well, wish they broke up. Maybe deafness. Yeah. 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 I mean, to mm -hmm. some extent, it's it's not that bad, really. I mean, they're just they're just you know other fans and stuff. They're playing, they're playing music. You know, they could have joined the military. They could have become cops. They could have become mercenaries. They're not doing that evil shit. They're playing music. The way I figured, yeah. they just have, so have no idea. Do I have to like their band? No. Yeah. Do I have to like the music? No. They just have, have no house? idea no. how not to <laughs> suck. These guys. They just have no idea how not to suck. They just can't stop sucking. Yeah. You know, suck on. Right? <laughs> uh, it's just a rumor. Is there any truth that Larry Livermore's selling Lookout? Uh, he's out. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know who he sold to? Some private guy. Chris or same guy. The same, same guys that have been working for years. Down. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they, they were the, they were like his partners for years. Handed it down to uh, <coughs> and, you know they're they're our age. They're, they're great guys, and they've been running it correctly for years. Do you guys feel you're down to earth? With the, no. Do you guys actually? Well, other than like you just feel like you don't care anymore. Other than my golden diamond collection, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I don't know. What What's down to earth? All I asked for was friggin' sharks with friggin' laser beams <laughs> on their heads. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Yeah, we're down to earth. Like when you when you tour with bands and they're opening, do you? 
I don't know, do you, do you still feel connected to them, or is it, is it still kind of harder to, to be in that spot, like, get back to where they, they are? Like, opening for a They're nice guys. Like, are you, are you still, you guys still, like, uh, are you still in touch with the bands from Lookout? From, like, when you were playing? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so. Do you find that you don't find they, they treat you differently than they used to? Do you have to find, you have to see who your girlfriends are when you, when you got a lot bigger? We've waned through all that shit a couple years ago. Yeah, I know. It's sort of the past now. You know, you know anybody, anybody who, uh, you can usually tell if a person, you know, is, is like questionable of you and, this and that. They, they, start, they start talking to you in a structured manner instead of like a regular person, you know. And they can eat a bowl of dick up at that point. <laughs> What would you guys rather see? Someone like uh, Mr. T Experience or Groovy Ghoulies or Bouncy said in a small room or something like you guys said, like Fleetwood Mac at a hockey arena. What would what what do you guys like more? I want to see Fleetwood Mac in a small room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they want shit. A small rubber room. <laughs> Don't ask for much. Yeah. Uh, what's the first record you guys ever bought? Or stole? Two, 2001 Space Odyssey. <laughs> 50 cents at a, at a um, value village. Elvis, Sun Sessions. Yes, I didn't buy, but I think I taped like seven seconds in DC on the first tape stand. Alrighty. Uh, uh, is there anything you guys own that would like surprise people? Like musically or? I've got a giraffe and a monkey and a trolley and I got Glutchland and I got and I got at my own amusement park and 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 a cyrogenic freezing tube I like to get in. Got some ill-tempered mutated sea bass. Got a prosthetic schlong. <laughs> <laughs> and one Swedish made penis enlarger. It's not a long way. In my own book. So, do you guys like watch a lot of movies on the bus? Um. Yeah, I watch a lot of movies. Yeah, we do. Yeah. What was the last one you saw? Austin Powers. Boogie Nights. Uh, yeah. yeah. Prosthetic schlong. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. Austin Powers right before that. So. Do you guys get out a lot when you come to cities, or are you just mostly like, are you in the hotel and then to the show and then on the bus and back, or do you get to see anything? The city we don't see shit, really. Yeah. We just kind of go and play. Next time around, we'll get to see a lot of shit. This time I know, I sat, we'll I sat down this morning, and I stood up, and I still didn't see shit. Yeah. I know we had a day off in Hartford, Connecticut. Woo! Boy, <laughs> rock on. Woke up, walked outside, dick was open. <laughs> I mean, everything was closed. Now I went back to the hotel. Too. Ordered room service. It was the worst food I've ever had. My, I've just sat in my room and I fucking hate this town. If I ever meet the mayor, I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> you know? and we, just, watched, we went and watched Boogie Nights. Yeah, yeah. which was good. That was a good. Yeah, movie. lots of drugs and violence and sex. Go figure. And Marky Mark kissing a dude. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's it's good guy. acting. In it. I don't know if you like the film. Uh, At least now we know who the funky bunch are. Did <laughs> <laughs> you guys get hooked up on Howard Stern? Um, well, he uh, liked our band, and then he kept asking us. He kept asking us, yeah. Yeah, kept saw us play in New York a long time ago, and um, he kept asking us to play the show. Well, yeah, we did uh, yeah, the private parts we gave the song, and we, uh, yeah, we did the show. It's all right. <coughs> did you guys really get to go fishing with Bob Izumi? The what? Did you guys really get to go fishing with Bob Izumi? Bob Izumi. Yes, Izumi, the fisherman guy. So it said in your interview with uh, the Hour of the Mirror that you guys were just fishing. Bob no, Izumi. we probably took him out in a boat. He maybe wanted to do an interview. With Bob Izumi. That's what we do. Or how are we do our interviews in the uh -huh. I have this rickety little boat, and we we take him out in the middle of the lake. Make an interview, up. and uh, we show him the boats, the cement boots. <laughs> Go ahead and do your interview now. Last question. I'm gonna sink him next to Elrond Hubbard. Do you uh? Would you like a, do you feel you have enough control with what you do? Like, I mean, you're on a lake where you could, I guess, ask for more control of, of how things are run, or do you just kind I of can't like control my arm. <laughs> 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 you have more motor control, maybe. Uh, that's right. 
Because I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you're in a position that you can say, like, we want to handle this stuff. We want to decide, you know, who comes to these things and where we play it. Or do you just kind of sit back and let it like? Dude, it's a bit of, you know, as far as musically and the way we tour, we control everything. As far as, you know, selling the records and letting people know they're out there and stuff, we leave that up to the record company because we're not businessmen, you know. We ran our, we managed our band for, you know, a couple of years during the insomnia period and stuff. And, you know, it's not fun. It's not. It's, it's a lot of work, and so, you know, we're, we're a band, we like to focus on the music, that's what makes Green Day. Yeah. Okay, thanks everybody. Mm -hmm. right. I smoke anything I wouldn't smoke. Don't get caught. Uh, <laughs> Happy New Year from Billy Joe from Green Day. Happy New Year. Are you guys, is it going? Yep, it's going. So it's going. Uh, Happy New Year. Punk <laughs> Empire. <laughs> 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 Oh, here. Uh, a lot. Of